welcome to another week of energy readings. This week we're going to be looking at April 16th to the 22nd, 2018. Yes, and what a week we have ahead of us. Uh, quite a lot of stuff happening. Um, we have a new moon on Monday. Always reminds me of the render end. It's a new moon on Monday. <laughs> we have a new moon on Monday. This new moon is also called a new day, which um, talks about new beginnings. Um, this new moon, um, the planet Uranus, um, aligns with the new moon in 28 degrees um, angle, and 8 and 2 is 10, and 1, obviously, is, is new beginnings. So there's loads of stuff happening. Um, because Uranus is um, related to the sacral chakra, um, what that really means is that the new beginnings that uh, are talked about here um, are mainly... Um, related to um, love life and that means rejuvenating the relationship that you are in or um, you know really pushing yourself uh, for a new one if that makes sense so have a little bit of faith and trust that that love will will be around all of us this week but also on uh, on the 20th the Friday we're going into the star sign of Taurus so this is the last week for a while where we start with Aries. We will look at the overall energy first and then start with Aries. Um, but on, on Friday, things will change again, energetically speaking, because we're going into Taurus. And then on Sunday, the final day of this week, we have Earth Day. And that means that we have to, um, well, we don't have to, but you know, we should, <laughs> show a little bit, a little bit of uh, gratitude towards Mother Earth, reconnect with Mother Earth. This is a perfect week. Um, for those of you who are uh, out and about in nature a lot, to really bond with what you see in nature. It's also an awesome week to do drumming and to connect with soil and with the earth, if that makes sense. So these are all very important things. And um, now we're looking at the overall energy for the week, uh, like Penny said. Um, it's April the 16th to the 22nd, 2018. Let's have a look. go. We are all surrounded this week by what is called the Great Spirit. So there's loads of spiritual activity going on for all of us this week. Um, we can feel uh, protected. Um, but the Great Spirit is also a medicine man. So this is a week uh, to start looking at our health and start um, letting go of stuff that holds us back, all of us. Um, so, you know, obviously individually, uh, mostly, um, and then uh, begin to let stuff go, really, really important. Um, and then you have um, the sturgeon here, um, and that means that um, when you begin to let go, and when you look at stuff that holds you back, you will get to the bottom of things really easy. You will, um, when you re as you reflect, you will realize, oh, some of the stuff here isn't quite working, hasn't quite worked. Um, and then it is easier to let go, if that makes sense, right? So that was the overall energy for this week, and now we're going into the first star sign, um, which is Aries, and like I just said, next week we will start with Taurus. Right? But now we're going into Aries, have a look at Aries. For Aries it is important this week to, uh, and, and the overall energy uh, helps with this. Uh, for Taurus, it's great to realize that this is a great week for healing um, and that you are indeed healing. Um, what is important for Aries this week is to pay attention to your dreams. Um, there should be a, a lot of patterns in your dreams that will help you uh, with uh, cleansing and clearing stuff and uh, ultimately with healing. So loads of messages from the guides will come to you in dreams this week. Pay attention, it would be good if you could have or could write a, or have a dream journal and then write down what you remember because oftentimes there are real patterns in dreams and once you, once you notice certain things, it's easier to figure out what it is you can do um, to have a better life, if that makes sense, right? Okie dokie, that was Aries going into Taurus now, which is the star sign that comes in this week on Friday, and then we will be in the star sign of Taurus for quite a bit. Right? Let's, let's have a look at Taurus.
Okay, for, for toruses you have openness, sort of being open, and um, in, a, in a way um, dignity, that makes sense. So this is a week for you, for, for Tauruses, to uh, not be argumentative, but to be very open and walk this earth um, dignified. Don't argue with anybody, just, um, you know, keep your head high, walk through your life with your head held high and be open because when you are open um, you may actually see that in other people's words that you may have found um, opposing or that you may have found difficult you may feel that there is value in, in them if that makes sense. So, so as you are open uh, communication is much easier to be had right but remember you know to be to be dignified and and live that this week. That was Tauruses going into Gemini. Right. So going into Gemini and you have what is called birth and feathers. And feathers means that the guides are around you. There will be loads of um, feathers coming you, to you this way. Loads of gifts. The universe is, is fully on your side. And then you have birth. And birth means that there will be new, uh, new ideas uh, coming to, uh, to, to you, new ideas. And um, these new ideas will lead, uh, or can lead potentially, to really great new beginnings. So for Gemini this week, it's quite interesting uh, to just figure this out, um, that when you trust your own intuition um, and really trust that, that you are capable of doing certain things, um, it will happen. Right? And pay attention to feathers, because there will be feathers around you um, all week. So pay attention, also makes sense sometimes to, um, to just uh, collect them and um, have them somewhere, especially as the week progresses, will make sense, because when we are moving into Taurus, energy um, can actually be higher. Um, if, and, and, and you will probably be um, a bit more outgoing, because Taurus is one of those star signs that is quite fiery at times. Uh, so, so you know, it will aid you in your in your quest to do something. And now we're going into um, Cancerians, Cancer, uh, which is actually Penny's star sign. Um, so, pay attention. <laughs> Let's have a look at, at, at Cancerians this week. And like I said, or like Penny said, we're looking at the week of April 16th to the 22nd, 2018. You have rainbows, or rainbows and closeness. And what it really means is that it just means that, that behind every, every cloud there are rainbows. So if things feel a little bit difficult this week for you, for you Cancerians, um, every cloud has a silver lining, you will get there, even though this week uh, may start off a bit tedious, a bit like, well, it's a bit difficult here, <laughs> you know, you will get there. And you have closeness. And that means that not only are your guides around you, but the people that are that you are having that you have in your life that are close to you, they mean well. You can trust them, and you can also burden them a little bit. They're not overburdened just because you you know you feel like you're ranting at them or something, you know. So so uh, call on the people that you have in your life when you need them, right? And um, ask them to give you strength, and I'm sure they will, right? So that was Cancerians this week. Now going into Leo. Let's have a look. Interesting, because Leos have an angel card with it, which is the Archangel Gabriel. And, um, and what a a a Gabriel does, he brings pure white light. And when you uh, recall that we talked about new beginnings, especially in the, in the, um, in the area of love, and rejuvenating relationships. Uh, pure white light, purity, means that you can speak your truth and that your new beginning will be absolutely awesome. Uh, because, and this, is, this sounds a bit weird, because you have opportunities, you have the, the possibility to make choices, and probably multiple choices. And what that really means is that there's always different ways to get to a certain point. And so you're not stuck this week. Really, really important to remember that you're not going to feel or be stuck. Um, so, in other words, whatever your heart desires this week, um, don't chase anything. Just go with the flow and trust that when you feel mm, 
I really wanted this to happen, wanted this to work, but it, could, it, it, it didn't quite work. There are other doors that will be opening, if that makes sense, right? So you're always much less alone than you feel. That was Leo's. And now we're going into Virgo. Ha! Huh. Virgos, you have the divine rope and the polar geese. And what that really means is um, you, you, you can speak your truth, should be, speak your truth, um, but with tongue in cheek. Be lighthearted this week. Um, that's what the rogue really stands for. He's not a bad guy. He's just, um, you know, <laughs> different, so to speak. And it's important that you be lighthearted, but speak your truth. And if you have something to say that could be perceived with difficulty, then say it lightheartedly. Um, because you have the polar geese, and that's a sign for um, the fact that you're, that you're moving uh, and going through life and changes are occurring in life. But the polar geese is also the animal that denotes, um, oh, what's the word, um, patience. So what they're asking you is, is to be patient um, with the relationships that you have and also be patient with yourself. Um, but the main message for um, Leo's this week, sorry, I think we, we were in Leo, weren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Leo. The, the, the main message for, for, for uh, Leo this week is to, um, to, to trust it and just, just go with the flow, right? No, uh, Virgo, we're in Virgo, sorry, forget about it. <laughs> we're in Virgo. So Virgo has the Divine Rogue and, and the Polar Geese. So, right? so just remember this, you, you will make uh, progress, and you, but you need to be patient as well with yourself and others, right? And uh, that was Virgo going into Libra. Libra are asked this week to always be honest. It's the most important thing this week for, for, for Libras to be honest. Keep going. That's the other thing. You have to keep going. Just go. Don't sway from your path. Keep going and be honest. And that's the most important thing you, you, you do. In the end, honesty will always be rewarded. And um, so if you speak your truth and you go your way, um, you will find like-minded people, you will find your way, if that makes sense. Um, but it is important to realize that there are no limits and there are no boundaries and that you actually can reach for the stars this week. Really, really important, but trust your journey and trust your path and go along the path, right? That was Libra, going to Scorpio. Scorpios are surrounded by guides. Uh, it would be a good week for Scorpios to light a white candle um, and, and acknowledge your ancestors that are around you at the moment um, because they are here to help. And then you have the wolf. And that just means that this week you get a lot of help from the guides. You get a lot of help from, from your ancestors to, to, to um, get where you want to go, make changes that lead to new beginnings, if that makes sense. But Overall, you have the wolf and you need to be in charge. And as you are in charge, um, remember that when you are speaking your truth and when you are in, shine, in charge, you also will be a kind uh, person and a kind leader, so to speak. Right? Um, but be in charge of your actions and, and, and stick to your guns this week. If you feel this is the way it is, then live it, if that makes sense. right? That was... Scorpio, losing the plot here a little bit, <laughs> going to Sagittarius. You know what this is? I think I'm hungry. Yeah, that's what this is. <laughs> right. Going into Sagittarius now, you have destiny and future. And that's quite interesting because um, you can trust that, that you are finding or have already found what you came here to do. And all you need to realize is that, that how you act and how you carry yourself will inform your future. And it's really, really important to really trust. Um, and also, if you feel, if you are a person that goes like, oh, I've been doing this job for 10 years, but I don't feel it's me anymore. If this is your true feeling and you feel there's a new truth, then go for it with all your heart and the universe will support you. Because we need more healers on this planet, for one. 
Um, and it's important that you, that you go for uh, uh, what you feel you came here to do, if that makes sense, right? And I always say that to people, because I have, I have lived in different countries now, I've been living abroad for 18 years, and um, have been self-employed since 2009, and the universe always supports me, if that makes sense. Right? There were jobs where I made more money, if that makes sense, right? but uh, this isn't what this is about. And I, and, I, and I do what I came here to do every day, and I can only tell you from my point of view um, how liberating this actually is. It's awesome, right? So that was Sagittarius going into Capricorn. Mm, you're going to like this. <laughs> because we're using the... Um, the, the unicorn cards, which are by default horses. Um, and this week you have the Pegasus. And that just means that um, you can open your heart to love and you can open your heart to fun this week uh, because the Pegasus is obviously a horse with, with wings. So it, it, it denotes freedom, it denotes new beginnings, it denotes being higher, it denotes seeing the world from a higher point of view, be elevated this week and you have abundance and what that really means is then in, in, in combination is when you just live higher when you just feel yeah there's more out there than meets the eye and I'm, and I'm gonna you know enjoy this kind of thing um, it will bring you abundance quite interesting right so that was Capricorn going into uh, Aquarius now and that is the second last star sign of the week so we have Aquarius and then we have the final star sign of the week which is Pisces which is my star sign right so we're going into Aquarius right now let's have a look what we got for Aquarius you have mystery and that means that now is the time to explore the unknown it's really really important and as you explore the unknown um, you will actually be surprised how much of the unknown will soon be known to you, if that makes sense. Um, so there's tons of stuff out there that you haven't experienced that is just waiting for you to be explored. So don't be alarmed or afraid this week to try new things. And then um, what that does is, when as you explore the, the unknown, you get closer to who you truly are. And that's what you need to realize, because what is important here is to remember that you're part of a group, you know, the human race, so to speak, and uh, you're part of a group. And it, it would be nice for you to join, if you haven't done so already, join the group of human beings. If you are a very spiritual person, for instance, you could explore um, a circle, you could explore you know, a, a course, do anything, and you will meet like-minded people and it could change your whole outlook, your whole world. Right? That was Aquarius going into the star sign, the last star sign for the week ahead, which are which is Pisces. Let's have a look. And um, as mentioned earlier, we're looking at the week of April 16th to the 22nd, 2018. The week where we have a, uh, a beautiful new moon on the Monday. We're going into the star sign of Taurus on the Friday. And on Sunday, the 22nd, we have Earth Day. So it's about being grateful this week as well. Um, you know, and, 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 and be grateful and thankful to Mother Earth and don't cause any issues on, uh, for Mother Earth. Um, and then for um, Pisces, we have blessings and silence, or stillness rather. And what it really means is that um, Pisces, we are quite blessed already. Um, loads of stuff we have going for us, if that makes sense. And this is not a week for us to argue, this is not a week for us... Um, where we have to be loud, where we have to say a lot. Um, in silence, in tranquility, so to speak, is much more strength. So this week we can carry ourselves without having to say too much. It's really, really important. And also because, you know, silence and, and stillness means calmness. Um, it's a week to be calm about stuff um, and trust that not, not so many things will be happening, right? Um, I still have the feeling that, that I skipped a star sign or something, but I can't figure out if that was the case or not. I would have to actually rewatch the video. I hope I didn't. Right? So um, that's all we have time for today. Uh, see you next week. And next week we will be starting with a new star sign, which is Taurus. Um, enjoy your week. And um, yeah, see you all next week. Bye-bye.